Hello and welcome to Daily Trends on Penax News. This is the platform that we bring you trending issues in Ghana and beyond. Today there is a news circulating on social media where other people are saying they do not understand the reason why some of our celebrities immediately they cause a harm or do things uh, that will cause the loss of the land to deal with them. We rather stop shading at them and focus on the lay person or others who do not have authority or power in existence. Well, because of their influence and how they stand out in the country, whenever they are at fault, we sometimes neglect their actions. But whenever somebody who is not that into power or the person is not influential finds himself or herself under such same uh, crime, that is whereby we raise the alarm in order to cause a havoc in the system. Well, a Nollywood actress has come to say that she doesn't buy the idea. This actress, Uche Inanna, has come out to state that we recall that what happened between Timaya and the said victim, who is uh, Osi Osinubi Damilola, the victim whom um, Timaya did the hit and run with. We all recall that currently in the news we heard that Timaya has used his car to cause a car crash uh, in Lagos, where after everything, we realized that the victim, who is uh, Osinubu Damilola, was so much injured and in that, according to the hospital she went to, she sustained some injuries, which has caused uh, 10 stitches over her body. Well, this happened on the 2nd of March, but yet still there is no, comf uh, there is no cause for justice on behalf of Osinubi even though people that were around or the witnesses has come to share their clear view concerning what they saw. That day, that is the green jean wagon of Timaya uh, hit her jeep on the way uh, and then it caused this minor accident. Even though it's not that serious, the lady was really hurt according to the crash that happened on that particular day. On that particular day. Yet still, they've not attended to her so far. But then, we all heard the demise of Bames, who also, um, by the BBN's close shares, has also come to share another similar experience, according to what has happened uh, to Bames. We all heard the news that she was kidnapped somewhere in February, where we only found some parts of her body lying down dead, where some parts of her body were also missing. Even though although these things are not part of what is supposed to be uh, causing alarm. But what is happening in Nigeria currently is making people feel so much insecure. And that these people, uh, everybody is calling for justice on behalf of Bamis because they are saying the transport system there, that is what we people call Uber in Ghana and other parts of the country, is something that we should uh, open our eyes or shine our eyes concerning how they treat neighbors and a whole lot. Well, BBN uh, Glo has also come out to say that she also encountered such experience where she boarded a car and realized the driver has a knife at where the, his seat is. And the car was smelling uh, something of uh, um, a foul smell from blood, which means that the driver she picked is somebody who deals in murder. The person kills people and then uses them for his own personal gains. And that she also raised the alarm and said on the 1st of March when she boarded the BRT car, that is the Uber, and she realized that the car is a car that normally does that and is very awkward and bad. So the alarm raised here shouldn't only be centered on the kidnapping part but also celebrities who fail to perform their duties or fail to take action whenever they are at fault should also be addressed. And according to the actress Uche, the reason she is mad at all this is because Timaya is said to be a celebrity and so therefore celebrities are people that we do cover up most of the times. But it shouldn't be done that way. So the more we are seeking for justice for Bamis, we should also seek for justice on behalf of the victim that fell under uh, the harm of Timaya by Timaya hitting her and then running away without even showing any proper consent. Moving on to other stories, 
David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido, is in the news again, where he is mocking his cousin, who is uh, Dele Adeleke, because uh, we all know that they had some voting, and that Senator Ademola Adeleke, who happens to be the uncle of Davido, was also part of the contestants or the candidates who were vying for the position at the uh, in Lagos for the position in the party, the Osun State People Democratic Party, that is the PDP that holds on annually. According to Davido, nobody can be in the competition with his uncle and win. We know Davido to be a musician, yet still, with his political avenues or political support, he really supports what his uncle is in. And therefore, he, bring, he brought a warning to the cousin telling the cousin to stay away from that particular contest because there is no way he will win. And according to his words, a uh, senator who is at the Mola became the winner with 1,887 votes. He emerged as the topmost and that no other person who was part of the competition could come close to uh, the votes that he had. And therefore, that crowned him as the senator or currently the person who can aspire for the position of presidency in Nigeria, Lagos, to be precise. So losing uh, the Osun DPD governorship primaries to his uncle, he was mocking their cousin so loud. We all know that uh, cousins and then uncles are blood and family, but people do not understand the reason why the veto should stand so much hard uh, for his uncle instead of the cousin, who we will know or say that the cousin is young and vibrant and could do the work. But so far as Davido says he has chosen the path of his uncle, there is no way he will fight for the cousin. So guys, this is what is trending uh, from Nigeria or the legal states to be precise from the camp of actress Uche Inanna and then Davido. Thank you so much for your time and don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles. I'm AA. Bye for now.